every work of God is actually the work of the display of his power. Everything God does, heal the blind, raise the dead, walk on water, everything God does is just a display of his power. Psalms 1, 47 and verse 5, Bible says, Great is our God and of great powers. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifts up the meek. He caused the wicked. He casted the wicked down to the ground. It says, Great is our God and of great powers. So God is great. He has great powers. Bible said His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifted. So because He is of power he can lift whenever he locates you he doesn't leave you where he meets you he meets you to take you up you see god lives at the top god lives on high so anytime he finds a man that man is low and when he finds a man low he picks you up god is powerful enough to pick you up pick you out of financial low level to financial high level Pick you out of the background of nothingness to the, to, the, to the face of something beautiful. He can pick you from the back side and bring you to the front side. I'd like you to bank your faith in this God that has power. In as much as God is my God, my case will not remain the same. In as much as God is my God, I will, it will not be for me in 2024 as it was in 2023. In as much as God is my God, He has power to settle me, He has power to fight my battle, He has power to, to lift me. The Bible says, He lifted up the meek. I pray in the name of Jesus. Anything that demands the power of God to be administered in your life in this 2024, in these seven days of connect, I pray, may that power locate you and do it for you. Now, if I want to provoke God's power, what do I do? The Bible said he lifts up the meek. The meek by character of meekness moves God and because God is moved by the meek the meek experiences the power of God there is something that has to do with the meek that character of meekness moves God and when God is moved by the character of the meek he lifts the meek so if you want to trigger the power of God what do you do develop the quality of being meek meekness is key to triggering the power of God the meek moves God as they move God God moves his power and they are lifted that to connect to power you must develop meekness I want to show you somebody Bible called him the meekest of all men on earth and he was among the most powerful of all men on earth he was the meekest and the most powerful in his days there was nobody ranking with him in power in the place of power he was number one and in the place of meekness he was number one so meekness gave him access to divine power and he was he, he was so powerful that god called him a god he was so powerful that god told him well i am sending you as a god so meekness can make a god out of a man because meekness will release to you the powers that be in god the strength in God is made available for the meek. That is the man we call Moses. Numbers chapter 12 and verse number 1. Bible said, And Miriam and Aaron speak against Moses because of the Egyptian woman whom he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. And they said, Had the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses, had he not also spoken by us? And the Lord heard it. And now Moses was a very meek. Moses was very meek. Above all the other men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses, unto Aaron, unto Miriam. Come out, ye three, unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of a cloud. And stood in the doors of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam and they both came forth and he said hear now my word if there is a prophet among you 
I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision and I will speak unto him in dreams but my servant Moses is not so whom is faithful in all my house with him I speak mouth to mouth even apparently not not in that species in the similitude of the Lord shall he behold wherefore they were are you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses and the anger of the Lord was kindled against him and he departed now here's something here two, two people were on their own discussing God was not visible Moses was not there a man and a woman were just talking you know, the woman talked and the woman said this is our brother Moses self does he even think he's the most anointed see the way he has just been after all, after all, he's a sinner <laughs> he married an Egyptian woman he married an Egyptian woman does he not know that he's against the law of our God after all, don't, does he not know that we were prophetess and prophet before he was born you know, Miriam was the first Aaron was the second Moses is the last when they were after Moses it was Miriam that carried Moses to the river and hid Moses it was Miriam that explained to Pharaoh's daughter that this is a child born of a Hebrew so 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 he was he was old she was older she understand understood god more than more than everybody so she she, she has she has understanding but now look at it she and her junior brother was on their own talking nobody was there moses wasn't there i would say that suddenly god responded god suddenly appeared and said hey what are you talking about you are talking about my servant why the end of it was that they were punished. Why will God suddenly appear? I've seen people talk about people, God did not appear. I've seen people slander people, God did not show face. But in the case of Moses, as they slandered him, God appeared. Why? The Bible said that this Moses was a meek man. Which means when meekness is in you, God will intercept in your case. God will intervene in your case. When you are of a meek man, when you are of a weak heart, of a meek heart, God will always intercept in your case. God will come to your rescue. God will come and fight for you. You have no voice. God will fight for you. You cannot do anything. Meekness will make God come your way. Bible said they came attacking Moses. God came and attacked them. God came and said, well, three of you come together. He said, if there be a prophet, I will move myself. I will, I will give myself to the prophet through, through dreams and revelation. But for Moses, I will not use dreams to talk to him. I will not wait until he sleeps for me to talk to him. I will talk to him face to face, mouth to mouth. Why? Moses carries something that attracts God. And what is that thing? Meekness. Meekness in you attract God to you a meek man will attract God and when God is attracted power from God flows ladies and gentlemen you desire power to fight your battle you desire power to lift you you desire power to answer questions in your life you desire power to answer those that are criticizing you you desire power to fight battles you can't fight what do you need to do don't attack anybody be meek if you are meek God will take over your battle if you are meek the power of God will flow consistently on your behalf I don't know who I'm talking to here but I pray in this month of January in this year may God grant you grace to be meek all that Moses had was meekness and because he was meek God came to make him meekness to make God to make him he was meek God came to fight for him he was meek God confirmed him a prophet which means when you are meek heaven will confirm you Heaven will confirm you a man that cannot be defeated. Heaven will confirm you a man that will be defended. Heaven will confirm you a man God will fight for. May God fight for you. Develop the quality of being meek. I'm telling you, if you are full of meekness, God will give you the milk of heaven to drink. I'm, I'm telling you, if you are full of meekness, God will give you the milk of heaven. You will drink it. Moses drank the milk of heaven. 
40 days, 40 nights, he is in the mountain. What, what, what do you think he was doing? He was drinking the milk. You know, as newborn babes, desire ye the sincere milk of a word that you may grow thereby. So there's milk in God's word. 40 days, 40 nights. Moses the meek is in the mountain with God, hearing God's word, sucking the milk of God. Did it make sense? Meekness is connectivity to power. Don't ask God, empower me. Ask God, grant me grace to be meek. Power will follow you. Meek people, power follows them. The unmeek are looking for power. Don't look for power. Just be meek and you will see God rise up powerfully doing things for you this year. For the meek, if you, if you fight them, God fights you. For the meek, if you slander them, God will slap you. For the meek, if you go against them, God will go against you. If you judge the meek, God will judge you and condemn you. From this verse of scripture, I'm telling you, it pays to be meek. It pays to be meek. And it is destructive to be proud. Because the opposite of meekness is being proud. The Bible says that God will resist the proud, but he will give grace to the humble. Another word for humbleness is meekness. If you can develop meekness, I'm telling you the truth, you'll be shocked with what God will do in your life. Build capacity to be meek, and God will make you. I pray in the name of Jesus that by the power of meekness, may God make you. If I'm you, my image shall sound like a thunder. By the power of meekness, I say, May God make you. God will make the meek, and He will unmake the unmeek. So if you don't want God to unmake you, be meek. You want God to make you develop that quality of being meek. A meek man is a humble man. A meek man is a down-to-earth man. A meek man is a man that reverses God. A meek man is a man that is empty of self. Empty of self. Empty of self. A meek man is not a high-minded man. He's not an ostentatious man. He's not a man who, who, who exalts himself. A meek man is not a self-lifter. He lifts God because he lifts God. God lifts him. I pray again for you in the name of Jesus that throughout this year, 2024, may God grant you grant, grant the grace for meekness. May God grant you grace for meekness. And as you become meek, may God make you. May he make you beyond your imagination. May he make you stronger than your enemy. May he make you better than your past. May he make you higher than your past. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody turn that you hear me right now. Meekness made Paul. See what Paul said. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse number 1. The Bible says, Now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ. I beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ which was in him. Who in present am based among you. But being absent, I am old towards you. Can you see Paul? Can you see Paul? See the quality that made Paul. Sometimes what makes people are little things. Small things is what makes people. Can I say this? It is a small key that opens a big door. It's a small key starter that drives a whole car. It's a little brain that powers the mind. I'm telling you. It's your little finger that eats, that takes spoon and takes the food and put it in your mouth. What opens the door is smaller than the door. <laughs> so it's more thing that it's more thing that makes big men. Everyone you see that is big. What made them is not big. It's just small things. Paul said, This is what made me. <laughs> this is my secret. He said, Now I Paul myself beseech you by the meekness and the gentleness of Christ, which means inside of him was gentleness of Christ, meekness. He now define it or explain it better. He now said, Who in present I am based. I am low. When I come around you, as if I'm nothing. If I come around you, if I get to the Jews, 
I behave like the Jews just to win them. I get to the Gentiles. I behave like the Gentiles. Me that is writing scriptures you are reading. When I come around you, I see behave as if I'm nobody. Among you, I am based. Among you, I am based. Other people will say, well, don't you know who we are? Don't you know who I am? Don't get, 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 can't you feel me? I'm the one writing what you are reading. If you see me, you must kneel down. If you see me, you must somersault. If you don't somersault, hey, 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 hey. It doesn't work like that, ladies and gentlemen. The way up is down. If you cannot be down, God cannot pick you up. I don't know who I'm talking to here, but I pray for someone in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That meekness will locate you. That grace to be humble. That grace to be empty of yourself. It will locate you. And because you become meek and gentle, may the grace of God locate you and take you upward. Is anybody in this house trusting God in this 2024? I will move upward. I will run and not be tired. I will win in the battles of life. Is anybody in this house believing God that between now and December 31st, I shall be higher, better, bigger than how I am before. I'd like you to discover the secret. Become meek. If you are meek, God will make you. I told you, if you are the meek, God will give you the milk of heaven to seek. Let me tell you about the meek. James 3 and verse 13. Who is wise among you and endure with knowledge among you? Let him show out of good conversation. It works with meekness and wisdom. See, if you're wise, show forth. Show forth your works. Show forth your life with the meekness of wisdom. Which means in meekness is wisdom. The wisdom of the meek makes the meek low even though they are high. Most men that are so high, if you get close to them, they are too low. Do you know what I found out? If you get to do that God has helped and they are the top, somehow, they put systems around them that makes it impossible for you to be close to them. Why? If by mistake you get close to them, you see how how meek they are see how simple they are you see how open they are they know if you are close you will see their weakness and take advantage of it so they put systems around them so you'll be far away so because you are far you don't know how 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 loyal they are <laughs> i'm telling you you don't know how good they are so they put systems so that you will not come close and become too familiar and you know familiarity breeds contempt you know, you know that where there is no respect virtue drops the power of virtue is respect what i'm not you can respect the virtue that another cannot help you so they will just put systems so you can be a little bit far so that you will not come close and see how how, how simple they are and you take advantage of it. Ladies and gentlemen, James said here, he said, let, let your works be proved by the wisdom of meekness. Which means, you are doing big things but in the midst of you doing big things, you are still low. You are like salt. Bible said the child of God is meant to be like a salt. Highly active in the soup but invisible. Highly tasteful but invisible. Invisible in the place of work. You look for salt, you won't see but you can't deny the effect of salt. 